John, <laughs> John uh, greatness in that second half once more. Just that 10 points to one after the Egan's goal. Just incredible, incredible shooting. Yeah, I suppose, listen, we've been very strong quarter three all year and, you know, we needed to be. If, it, if there ever was a day, because, you know, we, we probably struggled through the first half, being honest about it. Energy levels, we found it hard to get up to where we need them to be. And listen, all credit to Kilkenny. They brought a ferocious intensity in the first 28, 29 minutes of the game. And we found it very difficult to live with it. And, you know, they turned us over on numerous occasions. And as a result, got great scores out of that. I think they got like one three out of turnover. So, you know, that in their puck out, you know, we were struggling in areas. So we had to regroup at half time. But as I said earlier, you know, quarter three, we, we depended on it this year and we really depended on it today. John, you were saying maybe a bit flat in the first half. When Deegan got the goal, there was space down the left wing and they found a bit of space. How suddenly do you spark then? Do you go back to your points of reference the whole time? How, how do you turn the screw from there? Listen, it's, it's down to the players, totally and utterly. We have zero impact on the side and it's so hard. But the lads, to be fair, I think they showed great, you know, calmness. You know, they were measured in what they were doing. They just trusted in themselves and in the process. And I know that might sound boring, but it's so important to stick to it because if you go away from it, the whole thing falls away. And they just kept chawing away and chawing away at it. And I think they wore them out in the finish, you know. John, you're saying it's down to the players, but the culture that you set as management, what does it mean for you to be a Limerick hurler? What are the values that you have to show day in, day out, week in, week out, and year in, year out? Listen, this bunch of men are just incredible, you know, they're just so honest. Every single day they go out, you know you're going to get whatever is inside in the tank. And that means a huge amount from a management perspective. I suppose the other part that they're really strong in, there's a huge togetherness there. And they will die for each other, literally on the pitch if they can at all. And they do it on the training field week in, week out. And I suppose the third thing I'd say is, they're good at adjusting on the hoof themselves. You know, they're able to figure stuff out. And... As I said, they will stick to the process, they stick to what they're good at, and they will depend on that. Last year you had a couple of top fours missing, this year you had three of your top seven backs out. Just doesn't matter that you find a way. Uh, it goes, does it go down to maybe your, your outlook? No, listen, it, it goes back to what we are as a team. You know, we, we're never dependent on individuals. We never to speak about anything collectively or in, in our own setup in terms of individuals. It's all about the collective. And I never worry about men, you know, have been drop, dropping out because of injury. Because I think it's great that the next fella can step up and take the opportunity because he's busting his ass waiting to get that chance. So, you know, and that goes back to the togetherness piece again. The lads trust the boys to come on and do that. 30 points in this weather. Enjoy it all, John. It was some shooting. Yeah, thank you very much indeed. Thanks, John. Thank you very much. Thank you.